Side effects can include loss of libido. Not with a wife like Katie, per Katie though, surely. Um, I don't know why, why I was just compelled to say Katy Perry. Was he with Katy Perry? I don't even remember, to be honest. So anyways, this is quite the, uh, I don't know, paparazzi shot to laser beam that in his pocket. What's up guys, Derek, more playtomorrowdates.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Russell Brand. So this is a famous actor, pretty well known for, um, you'd think I'd be able to remember some of his movies off the top of my head. Uh, Get Him to the Greek, I think was probably the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I think that was another one. Yeah, my movie trivia is not, <laughs> is not the strongest, but those are uh, two I'm pretty sure he was in. But anyways, um, somebody sent me this um, a couple of weeks ago, and I thought it was worth touching on because it's another example, once again, of being proactive and being able to keep your hair into your 40s, and who knows if he's had transplants or not, but at the end of the day, I have seen no change in this guy's hair the duration of his career, and this image was taken apparently while he was signing an autograph. Is it hair today, gone tomorrow for big Barnett fan Russell Brand, we snapped him Friday night signing an autograph for a fan with a box of Propecia in his pocket. The drug is a remedy for hair loss. Side effects can include loss of libido. Not with a wife like Katie, per Katie though, surely. Um, I don't know why, why I was just compelled to say Katy Perry. Was he with Katy Perry? I don't even remember, to be honest. So anyways, this is quite the, uh, I don't know, paparazzi shot to fucking laser beam that shit in his pocket that says <laughs> Propecia right there. But um, apparently they did. And apparently uh, he just walks around with it in his pocket in the box still. So obviously I can't actually see the, the image is so like potato quality. It's not like I can zoom in myself to see if this is actually what it is. But purportedly, if that's an accurate zoom in, he's just chilling <laughs> with a box of Propecia tabs just sitting in his pocket, which I guess, you know, can happen. I guess if I was traveling, like it would be in my luggage, I would think, or my carry-on or something. I just chilling in the fucking box in my pocket but whatever so anyways purportedly this is uh he's been on propecia for a while because this is a really old article so i want to dig through some of his old footage and see if anything's changed over the years and lo and behold nothing really so his hairline isn't great to be honest but it doesn't seem like it was ever really ideal anyways like this is an image of him back in 1994 and you can see like this is like literal like teenage hairline but for him it starts like up here and it has this like notable like just bald spot in the middle which is kind of interesting and then throughout his career his hair more or less stays like the same he doesn't have the thickest hair up top he doesn't have the best hairline like it's straight across but it's like kind of high i guess uh, but whatever, like the guy has pretty much maintained it for years, it seems like, and he can still wear his hair like in the exact same way without it being like overly problematic in any kind of way. And it seems like whatever he's doing is working for the most part. So I went to his YouTube channel because interestingly enough, he's actually a pretty like prominent YouTuber now. I don't know if he's still making movies or with all the stuff going on, if you know, all the actors have to find other ways to make money now or what the deal is. But he's actually been posting for a while, actually, when you look back. Eight years ago, he was posting, like, somewhat regularly, it seems like, actually. So even when he was, like, a big megastar, maybe still is a megastar, I don't know. He was posting uh, on YouTube, and I didn't even realize that, apparently. So as far back as 2000 and, let's see, 2012, this is the hairline we're looking at here. So this is back when he was... I don't know, like 37 years old or something. And this is, uh, I imagine, when he's like in the limelight significantly as far as being a megastar and whatnot. So here he is again. He has that like part in the middle and the hairline is essentially the same, dude. It doesn't seem to uh, really get worse. And moving forward to the newest ones, you know, the age is starting to show a bit with uh, the grays in the beard and whatnot. But other than that, like the hairline itself looks fine. Like his hair looks pretty much like maybe it's a bit higher, maybe it's a bit more receded, but it's not really like, he's not that far gone for being like eight years deep into uh, since then. And like most guys in their forties are gonna have significant regression to the point where like you're noticing it big time. So scrolling down, um, he's been posting a lot, I guess over quarantine, cause there's probably 
a lot less to do as an actor. Um, let's see. Yeah, man, not a whole lot to comment, really. Like, there's no way to really prove he had a transplant or not. I'm sure he probably has looked into it at some point. Like, who the fuck wouldn't with this amount of money? And if he could optimize even further, like, why not? But whatever he's been doing, like, he's been proactive, it seems like, because this Propecia picture was taken a while ago, like, way before even, like, the Bradley Cooper thing, the Bradley Cooper Propecia, you know, scandal, where they, like, <laughs> they, like, fucking hounded him to find out if he was using Propecia for his hair, which is, like, the dumbest thing ever. But it seems like Russell Brand was, that photograph was taken like a really long time ago. So he's like, it's not like he had hair loss in that picture where you'd be like, oh, you definitely need to get on something. These guys have been like proactive from day one on their shit. Like they're not waiting until they see the visual representation of loss. Like they're on their fucking shit ASAP. So, you know, obviously good, um, I don't know, like strong advisors in the, uh, you know, A-list celebrity space telling these guys to be proactive, I guess, and realizing that at the end of the day, it's fucking harder to gain background than it is to prevent the loss in the first place. And trying to gain background often leads to needing to intervene with a bit more aggressive pharmacology than you would otherwise need to just maintain your baseline. So for Russell, I don't know, like, I guess we will see if it gets any worse. It doesn't seem bad. It doesn't seem like it's getting way worse or anything. So, but he's in his mid forties and this is where things usually start to take their toll. Like notable things of aging start to crop up and, uh, yeah, yeah, dude, I don't know. It's just another, uh, it's just interesting when you have the spotlight on these guys, like so significantly and you can just see like year after year after year, like what has happened and you know exactly what they're doing if they end up keeping everything or not so interesting to see the spotlight on this dude and he's posting regularly and the hairline's looking fucking solid for being in his mid 40s and obviously he must think he's prone or else he wouldn't be on the drug to begin with like nobody who is yeah i'm probably fine it's in my family it doesn't run in my family blah 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 like you those guys if you're in that one per, like 0.01 percent or 0.1 percent or whatever it is yeah you can get away with nothing luckily but i mean the majority of us you know proactive is the way to go unfortunately so anyways good shit to see another uh, example of celebrity pharmacology use i guess it would be way better if these guys like talked about their experience with it if they had side effects if they're still on it um, if they've learned new things, if they're using some crazy celebrity fucking procedure, if they're using uh, whatever it is that they're doing, but it's just a topic that goes skimmed over very often, even though it's like one of the main things in these guys, like arsenals of cosmetic interventions, like these guys literally depend on their looks to secure these roles as A-list actors. And then when they, you know, they will not talk about shit, you know, the chicks are getting like goddamn overhauled to such a degree that they're like unrecognizable in some cases and they're getting fucking tit implants, fake hair extensions, makeup that doesn't even look like them at that point. Um, just crazy fucking shit, liposuction, all, all kinds of ridiculous stuff. Well, it's not, you know, to some people it's ridiculous, to some people not. Like it's totally justified if they want to do it, but it's like the amount of things they do. And then for a dude, you like can't even talk about <laughs> your hair loss stuff without, uh, it being weird or it being like taboo or strange and like these guys just don't talk about anything they don't talk about hrt they don't talk about hair loss prevention they don't talk about any of the shit that is like rampant in hollywood but it's something that they should if they wanted to be like a fucking role model like talk about what you're doing to uh you know maybe they don't want the competition i don't i don't know man like like maybe they don't give a fuck about that and they don't even think about that but you would think you want to like help the generation who is like inspired by you and looks up to you I'm not saying like teach them how to use drugs. I'm just saying like impart the knowledge you've had over the years. And if there was like some guy who was going to, you know, go bald and you knew that you were well on your way and you got saved because you did blank and you could impart some knowledge on them, like put it up on your YouTube channel, dude. Let me just type in hair in his thing. Yeah. Like the top thing, the color of Kim Kardashian's hair. What's really important. Um, how I became confident. I don't know if that was, uh, maybe he talks about hair loss and that, but like, these are the most related videos to hair apparently on his whole channel. So in eight years, he hasn't once talked about finasteride or anything he's doing to prevent hair loss, even though there's like paparazzi photos of him literally having the drug in his pocket. So anyways, I don't know, just another video explaining the proactive approach that seems to be taken in Hollywood. Pretty widespread, to be honest. Like, it seems like most of the leading guys are all on the shit, you know, proactively without waiting for it to get too bad. Even Pete Davidson was on it from like 22 or something. And he's like, didn't even have any noticeable hair loss whatsoever. Maybe he might've had a bit of more of a nudge because his friend Machine Gun Kelly got fucking devastated. So maybe, maybe he just 
just knew about it beforehand and that's why. And some people, they wait too late. Don't wait too late. Look into it ahead of time. That is my main advice as always. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplates.com. If you want to get deep dives into uh, hair loss pharmacology, check out the uh, mailing list. That's the only way you will get sent. Those articles, when they get published, I don't publish them often, but when I do, they are very elaborate and uh, science-backed and have all of the um, subsections broken down as well as a table of contents, all the clinical studies referenced and cited for you to dig into further for your own research, if you please. And um, other incentives to sign up to the newsletter too. I put out a uh, private sales sometimes if we have like a Gorilla Mind launch or something hair loss related or like some either a discount or some private thing that, you know, potentially we might launch something several hours or even days ahead of time without it being available to the public. And it's only through the More Plates, More Dates newsletter that you'll get notified about it, stuff like that. So a lot of incentive to sign up for that. And uh, anything else I am associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.